this video, I'm going to show you how to add decorations onto your skull. So at this point, you have, should have your skull sculpted out of clay, making sure that it's hollow again. So there's a few things you can do. Um, two, two things I want to talk about that are, are working additively and working subtractively. So when you're working additively, excuse me, when you're working subtractively, you're carving into your skull. So, for example, your design is going to be carved onto the skull like this. There's many different tools you can use. Really, one of the wonderful things about working with clay is you can make tools out of anything. So you can use, you know, a fork to do this. We have toothpicks, pieces of metal. So that's working subtractively. You're taking clay away. Now I'm going to show you how to do work additively. So I, here I have a slab of clay that I've cut out little star shapes from. So you can use cookie cutters. Uh, you can also just draw out your own shapes to cut out as well. Uh, when you roll out your little slab, I'll show you a quick way to do that. You don't need very much clay. This is kind of an easier way to get it flattened out before you roll it. With bigger clay, you would actually pull down like that to make a slab. Okay. Take your rolling pin or whatever you're using to roll it out. Get this stuff out of the way a little bit here. Flip it over. This clay is really soft right now. Okay. So you can quickly roll out a little mini slab like that and then cut different designs out of it that you want to. Okay? So I'm going to show you a couple things here. You can add uh, filigree. Uh, you can add flowers. I'm going to show you how to make a quick flower. Uh, when you're attaching clay to clay, you need to, unless it's super soft, which this is not soft at this point, most of your skulls are going to be reaching leather hard stage. And so if you want to connect things, you have to do what's called scoring the clay and adding water and then attaching the clay. So you can use different things to score clay. Um, you can use an old toothbrush. You can use a needle nose tool. You, again, you can use a fork. You can use many different things to score the clay. So I'm going to score the clay right here because I'm going to put a flower. I'm going to show you how to do a flower. So it's almost like cross hatching when you're drawing and you do cross hatching. Cutting into the clay. This way it gives it kind of a tooth to hold on to the other clay. Okay. So if you want to do the center part of the flower, roll a little ball. And before I forget, students, there's little cups like these in with all the clay tools. Uh, use this for water. When you're done, rinse them out, put them back with the clay. Don't put them in the sink because I want to keep our clay and paint separate. You can see this used to be used for paint. So you need a little bit of water because uh, clay is the art of moisture management. I had a great professor in college teach me that. And I love that saying, art, the or art of moisture management, because really you have to keep the clay at the right um, thick softness or hardness to work with it. So I'm rolling just a little sphere for the center of my flower. I'm going to set that aside. And then I have some petals that I already started and I'm going to keep working and showing you how to do that. I just kind of press my thumb into it and then you can kind of pinch it over on top of itself. You can make the flower however you want. It does not have to be made this way. Okay, so now that I scored the top, I need to get some water in there. It's, it's, um, I make what's called slip and with just kind of like clay water, it works like glue to help, but with what we're doing right now, you can just do that. So I'm going to kind of fix this up a little bit before I secure it to the skull. So there's gonna be one petal, I'm gonna press it down like that. 
then let's get this. So if if you have to add too much water, your pieces are going to start falling apart. So be careful with how much water you use. However, most students I, f I find let their piece dry out. So make sure, as you can see, I have my school over here with a wet paper towel over it um, to keep it from drying out. So I want to smooth this f uh, flower petal out. So I just put a little bit of water in my hand and then I'm rubbing it on this. Okay. So there's another petal right there. I'm going to press it down because this is already wet from where I just put water on it. Okay. And then I'm going to grab some more clay. And again, this is working additively because you are adding clay to clay. You're not subtracting it away. And when you're done, you can come back in with a sharp tool and add designs onto the flower even if you want to. So I'm going to grab some more clay, a little ball of clay, and roll it on here a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to take my thumb, press my thumb into the clay like that. I need to get a little bit of water. It's starting to stick. There we go. And then I'm going to kind of pinch it to make it more oblong because it gets really round when you do that. Make it a little more oblong. Okay. And, you know, petals aren't necessarily, it depends on the flower, but they're, they can be a little bit irregular sometimes too. And that's okay. All right, here's another one right here. As you can see, I have a little, I got quite a bit of water on that one, so you can see what happens if you get too much. So it needs to dry out just a tiny bit before I actually move on and work with it again. All right. This flower is more of like a, a large flower with petals that kind of hang down. You could do a feather that has more form that sticks up. Just it's, uh, excuse me, a flower. It's completely up to you. And again, think about the person that you're honoring with this skull. You're supposed to have chosen someone that you're honoring that's passed away. You can think about maybe what they like. Maybe you want to make a hat. And you don't want to do flowers. You want to make a hat. That's also an option. bit of water right here to attach it. Make sure it has some movement to it too. Come back in and form the petals. I can kind of lift them up a little bit as it dries. Okay, I'm going to do one more petal. So you can kind of just press your thumb in and slide it up a little bit and that's kind of an easy way to make it oblong. All right. So right now this clay is really soft so I'm going to wait until it hardens up a little bit and go back in and kind of clean it up, make it a little neater. If you want, you can add that little sphere to the center. And this, again, is wet enough that I can just kind of stick it on there. I am going to score this side of the clay, though. And if you don't like just the plainness of the sphere that you've kind of pressed down in there, you can always add you know, marks to it, you can kind of, I'm going to attack it, I'm going to stab it a little bit, tear it up so that it looks more like the center of a flower. Again, 
it just depends on the flower that you're creating. Have fun with it. You could create a new flower that doesn't even exist. You know, you get creative. Okay. So again, that's working additively where you're adding onto it. Um, and then with this one, I carved into it. And that's working subtractively. Okay. So you can see the difference between the two of them. Um, I am going to come in onto this skull and I'm going to carve out designs on it as well. Um, like I stated before too, you can do filigree, so you can roll coils. You can roll out coils. Zoom back out again for you guys. Like this. Uh, just make sure you get the surface of your skull. Let me set this aside moist so that it will stick to it. So I can do this, roll out my coil, and then add some filigree up here if I want to. You could do a mustache. I've seen students do that too. But again, the surface of this is wet and that's why it's, it's sticking. So you really want to kind of encourage it to really bond with the clay that you're putting it on, so you want to kind of press down or it'll fall off in the kiln or fall off when it dries. Okay. Fix that up a little bit there. Okay, so you can add more filigree coming around. I could do another coil down around here, another coil around, around this way. Um, you could put a mustache on him. Uh, it's up to you. So again, working subtractively where I carved, I carved clay out, and then working additively, adding clay to the skull. So you get to choose, you can do a combination of both, which I recommend is it's going to have the most impact versus just carving it. So go ahead and get started.